Hi, this is Dr. Don again. Just a few more minutes on another question that's come up on how to use the worksheet for the Lab 6 Remix. This is that student name, remix.rmd file. Remember at the top we've got the YAML, that's the instructions for how to knit generally, and it's behind these dashes uh, at the start, and there's some dashes down there. That's all the YAML. You don't want to mess with it except to put in your name, edit it for your name, and edit it for the date. Make sure you leave those quotation marks there. So I scroll on down, and what you should do, of course, is run the code chunks here. I'm going to, first of all, run the libraries and load those, excuse me, the packages into the libraries that we need. And then now I can scroll on down. And what I'm looking for here, well, there's the, they're letting us load the data. So I'm going to go ahead and load the data there. Okay, now you can see we've got that data object, that data frame over here in the environment, and we can expand it. You can see it says a thousand observations of seven variables. First one is just an index. And then we've got the sex uh, variable with, with uh, binary, male and female. It's a categorical variable, the character there. And then SAT verbal is a numerical. You can see numbers there. SAT math is numerical. SAT total is numerical. GPA high school is character or categorical. High and I'm guessing low. And then the last variable is GPA physical year FY. And that's numerical. So those are the variables that we have to choose from here. It says save a copy local data. And I think we've got that code in the the uh, rehearse we're going to use. So I'm going to find a blank area here and I'm just going to start typing in my project report. Tell me where to start that. Now I'm going to go back to the Lab 6 Rehearse 1 and our example that we're going to use is the two samples, two means. That starts here. You can see here the first thing it says is explore the data load the data. It won't hurt to do that again. And what I uh, usually do is just to copy that part, control C, go back into my cloud, control V to get that there. Now I'm going to insert my code chunk and then go back here to the rehearse and then copy that code chunk, go back to cloud, and paste it in. The reason you have to do it that way is that if you just tried to copy this code chunk here, it, it won't give you a correct code chunk. So you've got to manually insert those. So you can see we're starting our report. And there you can run this again if you want. It won't hurt. It's just going to, again, give us the set GPA that you would then ex um, explore. And we'll continue on. Let's go back to the example here we've done the the explore data the next thing it says is specify and now here in the example it says gpa is the response variable and sex to be the explanatory variable and what i want to do is copy this control c and go back here into the cloud control v and one of the things that i keep forgetting to do is i didn't copy down my question so let's go back up here and find the question that we're going to use. We're going to use question one. So I'm just going to copy that, control C, give it a copy down here where I'm working. And I'm going to insert that right there. Whoops, I didn't copy the whole thing. Let me go back and get that. So there's my research question copied down there. I'm using total SAT and then low and high GPA, which we saw over here would be the SAT total is how they identify that variable and then the GPA high school. And then if I go into my code, here you can see uh, that's where I'm reading in that. I've got to put this next code chunk here. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a blank code chunk and then go back to the remix here and scroll down 
find the mean and go back here to the specify code chunk 29, copy that. And then I'm going to go back to cloud, paste that into my code 29. Now I've got that code copied in there before I run it, I need to edit this. So uh, we want the, go back to my question up here, SAT total. So that's going to be my response variable and high school GPA is going to be the explanatory variable. So I'm going to just type that in, SAT total. And I guess I ought to type that the way it's stored there, SAT underscore total, response variable and GPA high school. GPA high school. So I've got that edited in there. And I do the same thing down here. I want my SAT total to be my response variable. SAT underscore T-O-T-A-L. You can see it's offering it up. It's a function of the GPA high school. And it's offering up high school, which is what I want. So that is my first specify. And so we would just continue on doing that, copying in the code chunks and then editing them to put the right variables in there. Um, pretty straightforward, you've done this before. I hope this helps.